it going? Uh, good evening here at the Outlaw Nation. I am the Outlaw, John Roca. Going live impromptu with this um, breaking news that just happened on Twitter. Uh, James Gunn posting that he is moving forward with a Superman movie, but that after a meeting with Henry Cavill, he will not, I repeat, Henry Cavill will not be part of the Superman franchise going forward. It is official that Henry Cavill is out, out as Superman. And this is according to his own Instagram as well, which I will bring up in just a second. But first I wanted to bring up um, James Gunn's comments and take a look at them as well and see what you guys think about some of the stuff he had to say here. Peter and I have a DC slate ready to go, uh, which we couldn't be more over the moon about. We'll be able to share some exciting information about our first projects at the beginning of the new year. Among those on the slate is Superman. In the initial stages, our story will be focusing on an earlier part of Superman's life so the character will not be played by Henry Cavill. Will not be played by Henry Cavill, but we just had a great meeting with Henry and we're big fans and we talked about a number of exciting possibilities to work together in the future. Now he responds to someone is being part of the slate. I assume it's a movie. Jeff's, uh, James Gunn says, yes. Are you writing, directing? James Gunn says, I am writing and have been for a while. That's interesting. Have been for a while. So how long is this, has this thing been in the works for James Gunn to take over DC and approach Superman? But we don't know who is directing yet. Please tell me this isn't an origin movie. James Gunn says, no way. And then could Ben Affleck direct? James Gunn says, met with Ben yesterday precisely because he wants to direct and we want him to direct. We just have to find the right project. So that's what James Gunn is saying right now uh, on his Twitter about all of this, which is just absolutely um, a hell of a thing to be dropping late at night. Let me tell you how news cycles work, ladies and gentlemen, in case you don't know. I used to work in news. You know, I, I have friends who still are reporters around the country, but you drop stuff late at night, um, like five or six, because remember, this is like, what, 930 on the East Coast, um, because you don't want it to have massive traction when everybody is awake and most people are awake and alert and alive, uh, at least here domestically in the States. So the standard news cycle thing, when you want something to be buried but not make a big deal about it, is to drop it late at night. Sometimes to drop it late at night on Friday, that's really where you see how they don't want something massive to take, get traction. And most people are trying to forget stuff on the weekend, don't want to focus on it. So, that was so to see him dropping this tonight at like 5 or 6 p.m., and it's kind of shocking, to be honest with you, in a number of ways because of what we saw go on here recently with him. He's supposed to be coming back to play Superman, and now we're seeing that that's not the case anymore. And that he is officially out. Here's his message. I just, I have just had a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Safran. And it's sad news, everyone. I will, after all, not be returning as Superman. After being told by the studio to announce my return back in October, prior to their hire, this news isn't the easiest. But that's life. The changing of the guard is something that happens. I respect that. James and Peter have a universe to build. I wish them and all involved with the new universe the best of luck and the happiest of fortunes. For those who have been by my side through the years, we can mourn for a bit. So that includes me because I love Man of Steel and I loved Henry Cavill as Superman. But then we must remember Superman is still around. Everything he stands for still exists and the examples he set for us are still there. My turn to wear the cape has passed, but what Superman stands for never will. It's been a fun ride with you all onwards and upwards. So... That's Henry officially saying that he is done playing Superman. Whereas Kat, whereas James Gunn kind of said, well, in the future, we've got exciting projects. Henry's like, it's over. It's over. There's no, I'm not mincing any words. I'm not playing in PR games. I'm done as Superman. It's over. You know, and that's a much more definitive statement. There's so many questions to be asked. And look, if you look at that statement and look at Patty Jenkins' statement, Patty essentially saying the same thing that Henry did. Let's take a look here. And she says, I do not want what has been a beautiful journey with Wonder Woman to land on negative roles. On a negative note, rather, I have loved and been so honored to be the person who got to make these last two Wonder Woman films. She's an incredible character, uh, walking side by side with Linda Carter, an absolute legend and beacon of goodness and light has been a thrill. But most importantly, 
Thank you to the incredible Wonder Woman fans and for all your love and support. Wonder Woman fans are not the most visible in the media and online, but I want you to know that we have always seen and celebrated you and your importance. Thank you all for this wonderful journey. Keep up the Wonder Woman spirit. Any day that you face struggles, try asking, what would Wonder Woman do? I hope her beacon of love, truth, and justice is always there to lead the way for you as she has done for me. Compare that to Henry at the end of this thing saying, um, Superman, we must remember, Superman is still around. Everything he stands for still exists. And the examples he sets for us are still there. My turn to wear the cape is past, but what Superman stands for never will. It's been a fun ride with you all onwards and upwards. So the logical next question is, where are we going from here? Where are we going from here uh, with the DC Universe? Do we think it's the smartest thing for James Gunn to just start all over, wipe the slate clean, and if he does, these other four movies that are coming, are they lame duck films, right? Is is the Batman Matt Reeves that they're working on right now, is that going to be part of an integrated universe? Um, or is it going to be its own thing? What do we do with Joker 2? Um, what does Aquaman mean now with a film that's coming out in December? Will that even be released? I'll be honest with you. The only film I think that has a definite release is Flashpoint. That's the only one I think in my mind, or the Flash film, in my mind, because Zaslav has fought through so much shit to uh, and dealt with a lot of the public ba- black backlash against Ezra Miller to be able to put up that film. So that com- that is the thing that I-, I think that's the one film that they are not going to cut. They're totally going to keep. But the other films, the other films, I think they're all in play uh, to be cut or to be to have production stopped. Now this becomes yet another chapter in the mess that is DC that you brought Henry Cavill back. He left The Witcher. He was ready to go. He made a big announcement. And I don't know how you don't have this conversation with Cavill before you hire Gunn and Saffron, uh, Peter Saffron rather, to be the people who run your universe. How do you not clarify this before you let Henry issue a statement? And so I'm really surprised by the moves here. Now, I'm not surprised by DC and Warner Brothers axing everything and trying to save money, but I am surprised by them not being a little more aware of how this was going to play with the fandom and how by acting this way, they are reinforcing the narrative about DC being a bit of a mess over the last few years. Gunn did say the stories and characters come first. Creatively, this makes sense. I mean, for all the way I feel about how they've treated Henry Cavill, you have to look at this from, uh, take a bit of a step back and look at this whole thing and go, yeah, you know what? This makes sense. Do you guys think everybody is out? Do you guys think this report that was there last week, which James said was mostly, or was said, said some of it was true, some of it was bullshit. Do you think we're done with the Snyderverse and will the Snyderverse people freak out? Look, I'm a Snyderverse. I love the Snyderverse, but I also know that like, it's not tenable. It's not tenable anymore. They're not going to go with that. So are we done with all the actors who've played these characters in the Snyderverse? Are we wiping the slate clean aside from maybe Ezra Miller? Do you think they keep Ezra Miller? I don't know. I really don't know. Zaslav has been very clear that this Flash movie is fantastic and is going to be the one that changes everything. So who knows what they've added to the Flash movie to make it like be something that launches the next step in their universe. We shall see. The Witcher is a very interesting situation now. Do we think that he comes back? Season three, obviously, already shot. and It's going to be coming out. But have they started production on season four? Is there a call that's going to be placed to Liam Hemsworth at the gym some point tomorrow or, or, or the next day? And there's like, put the weights down. We're going to bring Henry back. Because I know right now, that if they brought Henry back, the world would explode. The Witcher fans would explode. And this is another way for Henry to come back to a franchise that wants him back. The fans and the showrunners, I imagine, want Henry back. So maybe, and then Henry has a little bit of leverage here to work himself a sweet deal with Netflix, who has taken care of him with Enola Holmes in this. So maybe there's a situation here where he finds himself back in a franchise that loves him and wants him there, supports him, doesn't jerk him around. I want to say this, not that Henry Cavill is going to watch it, but I like to put positive energy in the universe. I just want to say personally to Henry, thank you very much for playing this character. I loved you, and I think millions of us loved you as Superman, loved you as Clark Kent, loved Man of Steel. Thank you to Zack Snyder. 
for making Man of Steel and for Nolan for Christopher Nolan for producing it. People forget that Nolan produced that film. And thank you for opening the door to a new version of Superman that some of us who had a different experience growing up in this country connected to and, and loved. It has been a joy to watch you play this character. And I'm sorry from all of us who love you as fans of your work in, in the role that you got a little bit jerked around here, but we all know you're going to land on your feet. You got class, grace, and talent. And uh, that matters in this, in the Hollywood that matters in the world. So thank you, Henry. All right. Y'all take care of yourselves. Be a while. I love you. Once again, big, big shout out. Thank you, Henry Cowell for all you did uh, for Superman. And we will see you um, uh, down the road for sure, man. Thanks for everything. All right. Peace out. See you guys. Be well. Mm -hmm.